What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about a new zombie easter egg in Warzone that may just be as frustrating as the recent drone quest, definitely stay tuned, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, there's plenty of brand new coverage going up over on adetonated.com, which expands on all the content you're seeing here on the channel, just in the form of articles for those who prefer them, but we also have plenty of tweets going up every single hour on adetonated's Twitter, if you've seen my recent guide on the Warzone drone easter egg, then you'll know that I'm pretty frustrated with how that quest was handled, there was just a lot of potential with how they could have handled the RNG involved with the drone parts and even the reward that you get for building the damn drone but we went more in depth about that easter egg in the recent episode of the bombshell podcast I had quite a bit to say about that one but this egg here with Mr. Peaks is just about solved minus one thing that I'll be getting deeper into later in this video as any updates are found though expect plenty of updates in the pinned comment below and of course over on the detonated article also going over this new warzone zombies easter egg this video is really just me giving my my thoughts on the current solve that we have and the design of the easter egg as well as the strategy that my squad used to try to get this done so bear with me and refer to timestamps down below if you want to skip to certain topics that you may be more interested in so over the last couple of weeks as a bit of a recap mr peaks the rabbit from the new dark ether story has popped up in several locations around urzikstan and it's been discovered that you can only find mr peaks in battle royale not plunder i also have a lot to say about that later in this video there's over a dozen spawns that have been found so far and when you shoot them you get some amazing loot whether it's gas masks durables whether it's self revives redeployment packs extra cash kill streaks some really useful loot that can really help you during the end game of a warzone battle royale match you do get a sound cue when shooting mr peaks to know that you've done it sometimes you'll even get some subtitle text talking about the fact that it is an easter egg that you're in the process of solving there's no hints as to where mr peaks could be found though like a secret room that has a bunch of pictures or a list of locations detailing where he could be found there aren't any sound cues and you're nearby a Mr. Peaks rabbit. That would have been cool if, like in the Dark Ether that we have in MW Zombie Season 1, there would be noise made when you're near a Mr. Peaks rabbit to let you know that, hey, he's nearby. Would have been cool if even Supply Box UAVs let you know that there was a Mr. Peaks located nearby. That would have been fantastic. But it's also worth mentioning that Mr. Peaks does not despawn after a few minutes like the drone parts do. I know it was incredibly infuriating to know when I made that drone part video that after the first circle closes in, which is, what, three-ish minutes into your match, the parts just disappear making your job incredibly harder and mr peaks being in the storm also doesn't change anything these rabbits will be in very specific locations around the map and will be there for the entirety of the game if nobody shoots them so a calling card that's been leaked out for the last couple of weeks is one called bunny it's clearly a mr peaks calling card and as you guessed yes it is tied to this mr peaks easter egg around warzone now the calling card is already visible to anybody out there who could just pull up their customization menu it's likely locked for just about all of us but according to leakers you have to shoot 10 Mr. Peak rabbits in a single game of Warzone in order to unlock this calling card. And before I even continue with that, yes, we have tested it. We've shot 10 different rabbits over the course of, you know, five, six, seven different games. So it does have to be in a single match. And the thing is, right, I was thinking maybe you can shoot three of them in under two minutes, or maybe as you shoot one, another one spawns in nearby. So it's up to your teammates to help you get them all in a short amount of time. You know, an actual challenge of sorts. But no, it is genuinely based on just RNG. And what we don't know, though, is if whether or not this is a team unlock, meaning that if you and your squad go in and shoot 10 different rabbits in one match, do you all get the calling card? Or does one person have to shoot each of the rabbits that would be ridiculous if that is the case but that is how the drone easter egg works which i think does make sense considering the reward that you get in that easter egg but for mr peaks here i am crossing my fingers and praying that it is a team unlock for those out there that go ahead and try this but that also raises the question right let's say in a match that you're in your team happens to shoot six or seven but randoms in the lobby on other teams happen to have shot two or three rabbits by mistake would that still count as 10 and would you still get the calling card pop-up for having shot 10 Mr. Peaks, even though some randoms in the lobby shot some of the ones that you were supposed to? It's unclear if the match spawns exactly the 10 that you need or more than 10, allowing you to still shoot 10, even if some other ones were shot by players that weren't on your squad. So like I said, this quest is entirely up to RNG. We have a nice detonated graphic detailing all the known locations right now for Mr. Peaks. He's all over the map, and using all the known spawns, my squad and I strategize and conquer the outskirts of the map first, 
course, ensuring that we covered areas that would likely be consumed by the storm. So I was dropping Shahin Manor, sweeping everything to the bottom left portion of the map. One person was dropping top left of Urzikstan, sweeping everything and then going to pop off power plant. Someone else then dropped Orlov military base and covered the right portion of Urzikstan. Then a fourth dropped near Old Town or even Low Town. And within a couple of minutes, we all met up towards the middle of the map anyway to do a final sweep of all known spawns towards the center of Urzikstan. And the best we could do in our games was around seven. And the thing is, we checked nearly, and I actually want to say absolutely every single spawn that we know of. So what I'm thinking is there's still plenty of spawns that aren't known for Mr. Peaks, especially in the scarce points of interest like Zerevan City, the suburbs, or even Hadika Farms. Because as you could see on the known spawn list, there are quite a few areas that are pretty empty in terms of Mr. Peaks. So I'm sure there's some extra spawns just laying around there. But it's crazy to know that you can drop in, let's say, go to Shahin Manor, shoot Mr. Peaks, and the storm will just take that area within a good minute and a half, possibly less. So if you just didn't check that spawn, you missed out on a Mr. Peak rabbit because of the storm. It just blows my mind that this is what we have to deal with in terms of RNG. But the thing is, right, the reward also could have been something a little crazier, maybe even a blueprint that's themed around Mr. Peaks. I'm not saying an operator skin, but something a bit more worthwhile than a calling card. And I mean that in the most respectful way possible. I can't see many teams or players in the world trying to go for this. And that's why I'm assuming and even hoping that there could be an extra part to this Easter egg, similar to the drone one, because for the longest time, a loading screen had been leaked out for that drone Easter egg. And we all assumed that upon finding all the parts, that's all you would get. But you do get a UAV drone that lasts the remainder of that match that you're in maybe there is a second reward tied to this mr peaks easter egg which would be cool i don't really feel confident that there is another reward tied to this i think it's just a calling card but even if it spawns something like dancing zombies or gives you a free loadout drop which is also rumored right now or if it gives you anything still is it worth the pain of looking for these 10 random mr peak spawns around the entirety of urzikstan I, I just don't think that there could be that much that's worth doing this for unless it is like i said a blueprint or a really cool charm or something that people are going to find is memorable. But I do want to reiterate, I mean, no disrespect to any of the devs who spent time adding these quests into Warzone. If anything, I want to see at least one Easter egg added with every new season. I absolutely love hunting these and covering them for videos and articles, whatever the case is, hunting live on stream with the community. I love all that, but let's at least make these quests more accessible with a little bit more logic. And if you want to have a bunch of RNG with part spawns, at least let you go ahead and hunt that in games of plunder, right? Let's at least fix that and not have it to where it is going to be something that's completed by 0.1% of the community who actually cares about being a completionist or making the content based on the quest. You just can't imagine many casuals actually having the nerve to spend hours restarting or trying this with a squad of people that are like-minded and want to actually go for the restart. It almost seems like quests like the drone one and now this Mr. Peaks one are meant for one squad in the world to go ahead and crack after hours and hours of restarts just to say they did it. I can't see many people out there after seeing the rewards being motivated to really go for these and maybe over the next few weeks or months changes will be made to make these quests better. But look at Verdance's Bunker 11 or the stadium or the subway Easter eggs that we saw during the pandemic and although those quests had some infuriating RNG at times with keycard spawns and telephone spawns, the biggest annoyance was more so the real people you had to worry about while going for all of that, not just the RNG. At least the RNG in those quests were confined to very specific points of interest, whereas both the drone and now the Mr. Peak Easter eggs have us roaming around the entire map for just a chance of finding these items with very little consistency at all. And I know I saw a comment somewhere saying that somebody shot Mr. Peaks and a loadout drop spawn. Maybe that's what you get for finding all 10 apart from the calling card but i don't really think there's much after shooting all 10 of these and if you guys are like wait dk why'd you go ahead and make a video if it's not quote unquote solved yet well there is huge progress that has been made about this quest so i'm raising awareness for the easter egg here in this video we know the calling card is tied to shooting at least 10 of them according to leakers but what's so weird about the quest is just how it really isn't solo friendly at all if you truly have to find 10 mr peak rabbits in one game i don't think it's humanly possible to shoot all 10 before the storm either takes points of interest away or or if you get killed by other players. I'd say maybe if you're an absolute vet at Urzikstan, you can maybe do this, but you really have to have a squad covering as much ground as possible, considering you could have spawns at Shahin Manor, some spawns by Seaport District. How could you get there fast enough, even with the helicopter, and before the storm takes points of interest away? I mean, there's so many factors at play here, so much RNG, which has me thinking, right? Why on earth is this not available in Plunder? I almost forgot that the Verdance Easter egg quest that I just brought up a few minutes ago, those are available to complete in plunder back in the day so it's almost backwards
afterwards that now we just don't have that ability to do it in plunder i can understand like i said why the drone easter egg couldn't be done in plunder that one i kind of understand although it's silly that you can't just find the parts and build it in plunder i get why they wouldn't want you to have that uav recon drone extra perk or ability for the remainder of that game maybe they figured it's unfair for plunder for whatever reason so i kind of get that but for this innocent mr peaks easter egg was just giving you loot if anything it would be pretty reasonable to say hey if you guys find mr peaks in games of plunder you'll get extra cash and extra loot that can help you get to first place it would make perfect sense to have this in plunder so if the part rng like we saw in the drone easter egg or like with the rabbit spawns here in this one if that's all going to be wild and very sporadic around the entire map at least don't have the storm against us on top of that right let us search the entire map with max game time in peace even if the rng is ridiculous <laughs> just give us time to hunt right the drone easter egg it's like oh you got uh, a minute and a half to find you know some parts around urzikstan then with this easter egg it's like oh there could be rabbits on one end of the map then the complete other side it's like there's so much you have to work out with the rng and i would only understand how hectic the rng is here if the reward was something crazy like a blueprint even without tracers or an operator skin or something insane that is better than any reward we've gotten for doing any warzone easter egg over the last couple of years now if anything else gets discovered with this mr peaks quest i again will pin a comment down below and fully update the article that's currently on detonated.com as of now this is everything that's known about the mr peaks easter egg though there's well over a dozen spawns you can shoot multiple in one match you apparently have to shoot 10 you get a calling card for doing so but the rng is absolutely insane if you're not playing with the squad and even with the squad you want to make sure you guys are all kind of covering different bases around urzikstan and then kind of meeting all in the middle to cover the center of the map which is likely always in zone in a majority of matches that you play the outskirts are typically getting taken away by the storm pretty quickly on so you have to be fast with how you search you got to find helicopters use those redeploy drones find as many vehicles as you can to get around this isn't for the faint of heart but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on the second easter egg now that's been added into warzone urzikstan how are you feeling about mr peaks making his way into battle royale what are your thoughts on the reward that you get and the possibility that there could even be another one really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody mm -hmm.